Yo, what is up you guys, Recruited Fox here, bringing you another Xenoverse 2 video. And for today's video, I'm going to be comparing two ultimate attacks. And I'm comparing these two because when you use your ultimate attack, you can actually push the button again to do extra damage. So basically like doing an extra boost. It takes up one extra key bar to do it. And both these attacks have it, so that's why I'm comparing them. So the moves are times 4 Kaioken Kamehameha and one-handed Kamehameha Mark 2. And if you guys want to see other attacks being compared, then make sure to leave your suggestions down below. So starting off with the damage, without the boost, times 4 Kaioken Kamehameha does a total of 4,335 with 15 combo hits. And as for one-handed Kamehameha Mark 2, the total damage does 4,590 with 16 combo hits. And keep in mind that both these attacks do vary in damage. It depends on how close you are or how far away you are from your opponent. So the numbers I'm telling you are the max damage you can possibly get with these techniques. And with the boost, times 4 does 8,786 with 44 combo hits. And with the boost for Mark 2, the total damage does 10,828 with 50 combo hits. So both these attacks are really cool, but Mark 2 does have the upper hand for the damage. But as for the speed, Times 4 is actually a hundred times faster than <laughs> Mark 2. So this move is basically like one of the fastest ultimate attacks in the game. You can pull it off with any combo. You don't even have to stamina break your opponent. But as for Mark 2, the only way to pretty much use this combo on your opponent is to do a stamina break and then, you know, try to find a way to combo it to make it look cool. But yeah, an easy way to do it is just do a hard stamina break and then that's an easy way to pull it off pretty much. But at the end of this video, I'll show you a cool way to pull off Mark II. So yeah, for the animations, Mark II is way faster, but I do like one-handed animation way better. I think it's so cool when he does the backflips, and then when you use the boost, pretty much charges up, sticks his hand out, and then bursts out another Kamehameha. Times 4 has a really cool animation as well. But yeah, for the speed, obviously Times 4 Kamehameha wins. So now for the combos, like I said before, Times 4 is super easy. You can do it in knockdown combos or knockback combos, and you don't even have to stamina break your opponent. And this is actually a good way to make your opponent use their evasive skill to make them waste their stamina. So like you say, after your knockdown combo, just use it. And then he doesn't want to take the damage, so he'll most likely use evasive skill. And then he'll have less stamina, and then you could probably just pull it off again and then kill him with it. And as for Mark II Kamamaha, even though when you do stamina break him, and then do a knockback, you will most likely miss just because of the super long animation it does. So you can most likely just have to do a hard stamina break and then do the ultimate attack. Or a way to pull this off is like this cool combo right here I'm about to show you. So first stamina break your opponent and then do a fully charged sledgehammer and then fully charge your dynamite kick. And then as soon as you're done with your dynamite kick, just quickly spam your ultimate attack mark 2. And then it'll hit him and do a whole bunch of damage. I think this is basically like the best combo to use one-handed Kamehameha with. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this comparison video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Peace.